Mex, the Danish shipping giant, has refuted claims made by Nigerian President Bola Tinibu regarding a purported $600 million investment to enhance the country's port infrastructure. President Tinibu, speaking at the World Economic Forum in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, announced that AP Mola Mex had committed to a substantial investment aimed at expanding the capacity of Nigerians' port. This move, he stated, will enable the port to accommodate larger container ships and booster economic growth through increased trade. But Mex has countered the assertion, saying no such agreement is in place and no deals have been signed. A company spokesperson told Lloyd Lees, a leading online maritime publication. The confusion arose following a meeting between Robert Mex Ugla, chairman of AP Mola Mex and President Bola Ahmed Tinibu. While confirming the meeting, Mex emphasized that it was part of routine discussion with Nigerian officials and did not result in any new investment commitment. Mex has been present in Nigeria for 35 years and as a global provider of logistics service, we remain committed to developing opportunities for growth for people, the port sector and businesses locally, the company stated. However, it clarified, we are not able to comment on any investment talk at this stage. This clarification comes amid heightened expectation from the Nigerian government about potential foreign investment following the forum. Ajurun Galali, a spokesperson of President Tinibu, had detailed the president's successful effort in securing the investment, a claim that has now been disputed by Mex. As it stands, the company reaffirms its commitment to Nigeria but dismisses any current plans for the speculated $600 million investment. This is so shameful. Bayo Onanduga tweeted this. He said that the federal government has secured a $600 million investment from the Mex company. And they are denying it. This is what happens when a government is filled with propaganda. And propaganda comes when you don't have anything to offer. That is the truth. When you don't have anything to offer your citizen, you always rule with propaganda. Since APC came into power, it's been propaganda upon propaganda, lies upon lies. They have absolutely nothing to offer. And the reason why they are doing this is because they believe that their supporters will believe them. These are supporters that will not even scrutinize what the government is doing. They will not ask questions. Whatever the government puts out, they will defend it and run with it and they will begin to make propaganda out of it. For how long are we going to continue with this? Remember what happened with the Dubai visa ban that the claim was lifted up by the Dubai government but it turns out to be lies. People were excited about it. The same way people were excited about this investment because when an investment comes into this country, it's going to affect everybody's life, it's going to touch everybody's life. $600 million investment is a huge investment that should not be used for propaganda. But the government of Bola Metinibu, because they don't have anything to offer, they are dealing on propaganda. They are the chief demarketer of Nigeria because things like this is really, really going to affect foreign investors from coming into the country. You go out there, try to work foreign investors, and then at the end of the day, you begin to lie. And there's something that I just read about this man. Now, take a look at this screenshot. You know what this is? This is Tinibu's effect on the company. Now, listen to this. Max has lost almost 4% of their market capitalization in less than 12 hours after Tinibu's administration falsely announced that the company was going to invest $600 million in Nigeria. Do you know what that means? I'm sure that's the reason why they came out quickly to debunk that news. That means foreign investors are even scared to come to Nigeria. Why would they be scared? When the government is all about propaganda, going about destroying people's businesses, businesses that were created from people's hard earned money, how do you encourage investors to come into the country? The federal government, they are the chief demarketer of Nigeria. They have nothing to offer absolutely nothing to offer that is why every day they keep lying in order to keep their government running and i'm so much grateful to the obedient because if not for the obedient movement that is holding this government accountable that is ensuring that they fish out every lies from this government wow i am sure one day they will bring people and sell off this country and people will clap for them because it's only the obedient that are holding this government to account and welcome to nigeria
when you want to criticize the government they will tell you you don't love the government they will tell you you want nigeria to fail nobody wants nigeria to fail the reason why people are holding on to the government is because they want nigeria to succeed the reason why people are criticizing the government is because they don't want policies that will affect nigeria that is why you see them going to put b-board telling you that if if tinibu fails nigeria will, will fail if tinibu fails nigeria will not fail if tinibu fail they will vote him out that is the truth they will vote him out and 2027 there is no room for any form of rigging nigerians are wiser they are not going to open their eyes and allow themselves to be rigged out so it is better they start doing what they were voted into office to do and stop all this form of propaganda propaganda will never ever work in this dispensation we will hold the government accountable we will bust all their lies we will ensure that every policies of the government is scrutinized and for those of you that are that, that are supporting the government blindly without holding them to account you are destroying your future because whatever these people are doing we affect you most of these men they are nearing to the grave most of them are above 70 years of age they have acquired the wealth they want to acquire they've enriched their family their children but you that cannot even afford to buy fuel to, to, to power your generator you are supporting them blindly without holding them to account criticizing the government is not a hatred criticizing the government does not mean you are not patriotic the reason why you are criticizing the government is because you want the best for the country is because you want the country to move forward that you love somebody does not mean you should be blind to the person misdeed nigeria is going through phase of life that we have never seen before everything about this government is full with deceit there is no truth about it student loan cancelled everything that will favor the citizen they've cancelled it and all they keep doing is to push out propaganda upon propaganda and if and most of you are eating the junk they are pushing out to you imagine what this is doing to the image of nigeria in the international community how will people trust nigeria how will people come to nigeria to invest when the government of the day is busy lying upon lying what is the essence of lying about an investment that is not true how are you showing Nigeria the image of Nigeria to the international community when the president is openly lying about an investment? Do you know how huge that is? Do you know how do you know the monumental effect of that? The people that will suffer this is you. Because once Tinibu is done with his eight years in office, he will go and rest. President Muhammad Bari for eight years. Despite plaguing Nigeria with so much poverty, insecurity, and inflation. He has gone to his hometown in Daura to rest. You are the one that is suffering the maladministration of President Muhammad Ubari. He is resting. He is resting. And the, the Nigerian government is still paying him pension. He has security that is guiding him for life. You don't have that security. You don't have that access to pension. But you keep defending people that doesn't mean well for you. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.